why is history so important to you that you're willing to work evenings and weekends for decades? <laughs> Ooh, a hard question for the beginning, <laughs> immediately. I think that um, history is very, very present thing. It's not past, at least here in, the, in the Bosnia and in the Balkan countries. So while even I, while I was a student, when I was talking to some strangers, okay, saying I'm studying history or I'm a history teacher, I always get a people who had an opinion about it. So everything is connected with the history. So we, uh, common people are explaining the things uh, modern things in a historical way. This happened to us because of the some facts 600 years or 700 years ago. So um, being mature and even becoming a parent, I, be I become aware how it is important to have a different perspective, to understand the things. And I think that my mission is, or, or at least I feel that my mission is just to open that discussion mm -hmm. about the history, even recent and the, even the old, old one, because I think that we really deserve it. We are still here uh, in the Balkan countries presenting the history in an old-fashioned way. There is one unique truth and nothing beyond it. I think that that's not okay. So uh, what I'm doing, I'm having a great a feeling when I work with history with the people who are on the same page like I do and spreading the network for me is something that gives me a fuel to continue to working the weekends, the summer holidays, the winter holidays and this is this kind of energy between the history teachers is something that really moves me. You say history is uh, very much something of the present. Uh, could you give any example that really motivate you to, to wage this uh, battle? Well, I always do remember the thing that happened in 2003 when we first time sat together the teachers from across the Bosnia. It was just recently after the war we had no, we, we didn't know each other and we sat down together and it was the first time that people basically moved from their own neighborhoods and area and mixed with the other nations. Then in some, after two, three, four days of gathering around, we figure out that we do have the same issues, the same problems, the same ideas, and that it's only up to us to change it. So I do remember the story when we were deciding uh, what to do with Europe, hard to how to move things forward. And then the colleague from the Bosnia said, we are in the finals, we are waiting the others just to jump in. So. Uh, for me, that was the melting spot. That that was the moment where we did understood understood that it's up to us. If we really want to be the change, to change something, then we have to be the change. It's up to us. It's not but by somebody other to change it for us. Yeah. So um, in all those moments that came after that, uh, up until where we are now, what uh, makes you most proud? Ooh many things really so yeah first is that I personally overcome the many prejudices that I have I moved forward a lot I now can share the stories about the others uh, saying the, the stories with my own example the things that I face it or I saw it with my own eyes I taste it and I think that it's a great thing just to, to share it among the other people. So now very often here in the Balkans you can hear like, you know, it's us and them. Them, they're like meaning the other nation, it's, it's a monolith stone like. I said, no, 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 it's not like that. I have the example that the others were very kind to me and, mm -hmm. you know, talking about the people with real names and the feelings and the attitudes and exchange towards them. So having in mind those stories makes me proud and also the work that we done joint history material in this hysteric uh, period that we lived in last 25 years it's it's a great achievement and the pity thing is that this what we done in history education in the balkans is much more valued abroad than inside i always feel very sad when my own community, my own government does not want to use me. So I can go abroad in, in very developed countries like South Korea, 
being accepted as an expert, but I, I'm not good for my own community. This is really that makes me huh, sad, but I think that it, I have nothing else to do instead of keep going and trying. Okay. Uh, one uh, other dimension I think of the work uh, has been the um, foreign pressure, uh, funding coming from abroad to support reconciliation. Um, in this moment where you have this Western Balkan Fund and things are changing a bit, how do you reflect on this change of yeah, it's 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 different. I'm I'm happy that, that there are such an opportunities like the Western Balkans Fund, which is basically financed by the Balkan countries, and uh, there is no someone from abroad to guide us. So this is a shift, a moment of shifting things. Like uh, here, the five different history teachers association decided to go jointly. There is a great trust among us, just to be here in Vajna Bashta and having together the teachers from Kosovo and teachers from Serbia in the same room without anyone from abroad to tell them you have to do it. This is the moment which I see that things are moving forward and there is no fear. There is trust. Of course, there are still issues to be overcome, but small steps. Yeah. Yeah, one so, after another. Final question, uh, history, curse or a blessing? Of both. <laughs> uh, I I like to see history in the gray colors, in a gray different uh, dimensions of gray. Like it's no never it's black, never it's white. I see it somewhere in between, and I think that that it's it's a beauty in history in that kind of metadata they are always behind that you can always build upon it. You can be very creative, you can be very open. It depends, it's up to us how we will use the tools that the history really gives us. And I always, when I think about history, I always think about my own parents, uh, my own children. Mm -hmm. What I want them to become, what kind of citizens they should be. And I think that this is my role to, to help them, just to give them a different perspective and open another field for them. So. And for the students, of course. Anything to add? Uh, it's great to be here and it's perfect to have this great energy here in Bajna Bashta and, and these beautiful workshops and the area. And I like it. Definitely. Great.